everybody, here I am, Tracy from Trey Carlos and Catering and Events. I'm back over here on Chefs in the Hood. Don't forget to subscribe and like to our channel. Um, today, I'm going to make a vegetarian meal. We're making a veggie pack quinoa fried rice. There's no rice in it, it's just quinoa, but you know, we're going to use the name anyway. And then I'm making a General Tso um, cauliflower. So instead of chicken, we're going to use cauliflower. But we're going to start off with making the fried rice first. Come take a look at what we're going to put in here. We got obviously the quinoa. We got some carrots and green onions. Right here is a mixture of our vegetables. It's spinach, kale, and bok choy. We got our onions, ginger, garlic, some eggs, salt, soy sauce, extra virgin olive oil, and then we got some sriracha for the end. That's for the serving part. So let's get started. Oh yeah. And also I got my fabulous wine with my strawberries and kiwi. I had to mention that. Okay, so we're gonna start off with cooking our quinoa first. We're gonna put this, I'm making three cups. So it's two cups per, two cups of water per every cup of quinoa, but that's what the instructions are for mine. Just read your directions, it may be a little different. We're making three cups, so I need six cups of water, and we're gonna put that to boil. So we got our water measured out, it's in the pot. Now we're gonna take this quinoa and put it into the water. And we gotta let get this to a boil. Okay, so now our quinoa is boiling. We're gonna cover it and put it to simmer for about 15 minutes. We're gonna check it in 15 minutes. Okay. And after that, once we check it at 15 minutes, if all the water's been absorbed. We're then gonna put it in a baking sheet. And we gotta pat it down to one even level. And we're gonna put it in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes to cool up. Well now, quinoa is done. See how there's no more liquid in here? It's all dried up. So I should let you know it's done. By the way, I let it steam for five minutes. I took it off the heat and covered it. And we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for it to cool. Okay, now we're gonna continue with our quinoa fried rice. Now, our quinoa is completely cooled. We have it in the refrigerator. What you wanna do is be able to stick your finger straight through, and if it's cool all the way through, you know you, your quinoa's completely cooled off. Now, we're gonna put in our onions. Oh my goodness. And I put that oil to warm up. It was warming up, so was, as you can tell, it was ready. And we need to put our green onions in as well. Now we're gonna cook this for a little while. Like our little wok. We're gonna try and make this as authentic as possible. After we finish with the, these onions, we're gonna put our carrots in next. Okay, now we have our yellow onions and green onions ready for the next addition, which are our carrots. And we're gonna cook this for about another two to three minutes. And then after that, we're gonna add our ginger and our garlic. Doesn't that look delicious, pretty, bright? This quinoa fried rice is gonna have a lot of vegetables. Okay, now we're gonna add in our ginger and our garlic. I love a lot of garlic, but this is actually what it asks for. I usually put extra. But this time there was so much I didn't need to. Look at that. It smells delicious. Mm. Okay, now we're going to 
I wish y'all would hit some y'all can taste this. I know it's gonna be delicious. Look. And we're gonna let this cook up for a little while. And then we're gonna add the quinoa, our veggies, well, our green veggies. And then we'll add our salt and our soy sauce to our liking. Okay, now we're about to add our quinoa into our onions and carrots. Okay, so now we got everything mixed up. We are going to make a little well in here. And that's where we're going to add our eggs and cook them. We're going to scramble them up right in here. So we're going to push everything up to the sides. And then we're going to pour the eggs in. And let it cook and then we'll mix them right into the quinoa. So we're only going to use half of this. We're going to let this cook up. Now I think we should season our eggs with some salt and pepper. And that way that's seasoned as well. We want everything to be seasoned. Okay, so you see our eggs are getting cooked and you want to make sure that your eggs are well done completely before you start mixing them into the quinoa or else it's going to make the quinoa soggy and that's not the that's not the texture we're going for today. So you see, now we're going to mix it all together. After this, we are going to add the soy sauce. I'm not going to add any more salt or pepper in it because I put that in on the before I put the eggs in and mixed it up and then I put it into the eggs also so it's plenty seasoned and you know if anybody wants it a little more they could put more soy sauce on it because it's easier to add salt than it is to take it away so you don't want to do it that much okay so here we got our soy sauce we're going to start with this We gotta mix it up again and make sure it's very. I don't know if I could work in a Chinese restaurant and do this all day. This is a lot of work. There's a lot of parts to it. Now we to after this, now we're gonna add our green mixture. This is the bok choy, the spinach and the kale. Now we're gonna mix this in. Okay, so as you can see, we have our veggie pack quinoa fried rice done. So now it's time for the second part of the meal, the general style cauliflower. So let's get started on that. We have our cauliflower already rinsed and cut up into pieces. We have our cornstarch, baking soda, salt, pepper, our sesame oil, white pepper, green onions, water, um, our rice flour. I got some brown rice flour from Bob's Red Hip Mill. Gluten free, the best you can get. We also have some vegetable oil some sugar, some dried red chili peppers, rice vinegar, sesame seeds, ginger, garlic, some sriracha sauce, this is gonna go on at the end, soy sauce, some dry sherry, and some vegetable stock. So this is what we're gonna use to make our general sal cauliflower. Right okay, now we're gonna make the batter for the cauliflower so we can start frying it, okay? We're gonna start off this side, but this is baking soda. Cornstarch. This right here is the rice flour. We're not going to put it all in at one time. Then we have our white pepper. Our salt. Blend this up. You see it? 
Okay, so now we got that, our dry ingredients mixed up. Now we're gonna add our water. Cause we're gonna make, this is gonna be the batter to coat the cauliflower. And we also gonna add some sesame oil. Okay. Now we're gonna mix this up as well. And we're gonna make our batter for our cauliflower, okay? Let's see how this comes out. It's supposed to be really, really sticky. And I think it's working. So we have our batter ready. Right now we're going to add in the cauliflower. And by the time we finish tossing everything, all the cauliflower in it, there should be no batter left at the bottom. If there is, just add a little bit more rice flour. Because you, when, you, when it's time to go fry it, you don't want it to be too liquidy. So you want it to stick to that. You don't want it to be watery. Okay. Now I'm going to put my hands in this so we can toss it. We'll see how nicely coated all these are coming out. And we're going to put a little bit more flour in it because as you can see, I still have some batter at the bottom. So we want to dry that out. Like I said, we're going to add a little bit and we're going to get to see how it's all sticking to my finger. You see how that looks? That's, how, that's the texture that you want. But you see, look at the bottom of my bowl. There's nothing left. That's exactly how you want the bottom of your bowl to look. That lets you know that everything is sticking to your cauliflower. So when you go to start frying, it won't be like dropping water into the oil. Okay, now that we got our batter on, we are going to sprinkle a layer of sesame seeds. And we're going to toss it again. Make sure everything has sesame seeds. Everything's covered with the batter. So we're going to drop our cauliflower in here. Let it fry up. Oil's nice and ready for us. And as you can see, I cut these into little bite-sized pieces. Got a couple of big ones, but not many. Okay, so these are ready to be taken out. As you can see, the finished product. See the color? I'll let you know it's ready and it's at the right crisp that we want. Now we're making the sauce. So we're gonna put the ginger in first. Let that fry up for a few seconds. And then we're gonna add the ginger. I mean, I'm sorry, the garlic. Also add in our chili peppers. Now this is for the General South sauce. This is what we're gonna toss our cauliflower and our fried cauliflower. Let's, let's let that cook for a second. And then we're gonna continue on with the recipe. First, we're gonna put in our sherry. Next, we're putting in our sesame oil. Rice vinegar. Soy sauce. Next is the sugar. Now we're gonna put in our vegetable stock. You could do it with water, but since we're making a vegetarian meal, we're gonna do it with vegetable stock. I think it holds a lot more flavor. And we're gonna 
gonna let this cook up. This is what we are going to put our cauliflower in. Now we're gonna lower the heat and have this simmer for a few minutes. And we're also gonna be adding some cornstarch with a mixture of water to thicken up the, our, our sauce for our cauliflower. Slurry that I'm gonna put inside the sauce over here for the general style cauliflower. Now, as you pour this in, you gotta stir it and pour it at the same time. After you add your slurry, you're gonna bring it to a boil. As it's boiling, it will thicken up. And if you if it's not thick enough to coat a spoon, then you add a, you make a little bit more slurry and with the cornstarch and you'll put it in. Then that's when we'll toss in our um, cauliflower. So let's bring this to a boil and see what happens. Okay, so now I got my sauce to where I want it. And we're gonna, I already turned off the heat. And I did have to add a little bit more of the slurry with the cornstarch slurry that I made up. So now it's done. Take a look. It's thick. It's not completely thick, but it's wet at the consistency that we need it. Now we're going to add our cauliflower to the sauce that we made, along with our green onions. And we're gonna toss this all together. Now mine's that I didn't make mine too spicy. I didn't break up my peppers. If you want yours a little bit more spicy, you could break up your peppers. So that way you can have a little bit more spice to it. I didn't make, I didn't do it. I'll get my spice from my sriracha. Okay, let's plate this up. Our veggie pack quinoa fried rice along with our general sal cauliflower. All right, now we're gonna put some sriracha. I'm not gonna put too much. And we're gonna put some green onions. And how about we put some more sesame seeds on here as well. You know, you can never have too much. So there goes our veggie, vegetarian meal for tonight. If you wanna make this vegan, the only thing you have to take out is the eggs. Other than that, this is a vegan meal. Okay, now let's see how this came out. I know it tastes good because I've been tasting it. So there we go, Chefs in the Hood family. We got a vegetarian meal. And if you want to make it vegan, just take out the eggs and you have yourself a vegan meal. Very filling, very tasty. And you're not missing the meat, trust me. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you like our stuff, subscribe and like our shows. Thank you. I'm going to continue eating.